Thanksgiving Day is traditionally the beginning of the holiday season, and it's when the Dallas Cowboys playoff drive begins in earnest. And when November turns into December, the Cowboys are virtually invincible in the game that follows Thanksgiving. They haven't lost since 1967, and there have been some memorable performances, like Tony Dorsett's 175 yards rushing against Baltimore in 81 or handing the Washington Redskins their only loss in their Super Bowl winning season. This is the Cowboys' time to shine. Today they travel to Cincinnati to play a Bengals team that has a record of its own to be proud of, a divisional title at stake, and a sold-out Riverfront Stadium full of fans eager to show they don't like Dallas very much. have their own heroes, new young faces like second-year quarterback Boomer Esiason and wide receiver Eddie Brown, who looks like he could be the AFC Rookie of the Year. Dallas has never played a regular season game here before, and it should be a wild scene in Cincinnati today. The Cowboys against the Bengals, coming up on CBS. Nearly 60,000 have jammed themselves in the Riverfront Stadium for this first meeting ever in Cincinnati between the Cowboys and the Bengals. An important game for Dallas. They currently hold a one-game edge over the Giants with three to go in the NFC East. Perhaps a more significant game for Cincinnati. They are involved in a three-way fight for the AFC Central Division Championship. <laughs> Bengals threatening a blitz. They're coming. Dorsett, stiff arm, caught for a loss. It's Timmy Newsom. And Ross Browner, number 79, gets there first. White audibly and having some trouble getting his back set. Dorsett has his head taken off, and there's a fumble. White is back there and falls on it at the five. And Browner falls on him. Third and 37. Second and eight. Reverse faked, and James Brooks has it with a blocker in front to the 15 yard line. Now Cincinnati puts their special goal line offense. They have all offensive linemen up on the front line. Charles Alexander in the backfield. They sometimes will pass from this. This is Kennebrew, and he shoves the pile forward for a touchdown. Again, first down and 10. Dallas's first first down of the game. 9 nothing. Cincinnati leads. Play action. White to Cosby. First down, fumble. And Cincinnati has it. Nine nothing, Cincinnati, second down and ten. And again, no pressure on Esaias. Caught Eddie Brown. Touchdown. the second time Danny White has been sacked in the last three games. He was sacked six times against Chicago. Saxon. And again, terrific field position for Cincinnati. Mike Martin. Flags are down, and so is Martin. Will be wiped out. Illegal block, number 90, receiving team on the run back. Ten yards, first stop. We are back in the sold-out Riverfront Stadium. We had mentioned that 16-1 record the Cowboys had of the game after Thanksgiving. The only defeat was to Baltimore in 1967. Total offense in this game so far, and we've only played 
five minutes and 50 seconds. Minus 18 for Dallas, 117 for the Bengals. And they are back. Play action, and Esiason rolls out. Chased by Clinkscale. Eddie Brown has the catch. Third down and five. See if the Cowboys have that blitz tendency again. They do have men up on the line. Now James Brooks moves up. Watch out for a quick handoff to Brooks. There it is. Is it over? That was a play put in especially for this game against the Cowboys 4-0 defense. They thought they could get the Cowboys blitzing and sneak Brooks up. And what he actually said was when he ste stepped up in the line, I've got Bates. Here's a bad snap, and the ball is tipped and intercepted. That is the first thing that has gone wrong for Cincinnati today. And it is 22 0. Well, that's one of those things that you take a chance on, Vern, is the fact that you take a guess with a football team, you put in a specific play, and then you have to convince your football team that it'll work. Now they got an onside kick, and they recovered. They've got it. Sam Washington, your old teammates. Most points ever scored against the Cowboys in the first quarter, we are told. Ever. Eddie Brown. The Cowboys have it. That's a fumble. And Gene Lockhart picks up the fumble, and the Cowboys finally get a break. White going deep. Hill is down there. Has the catch at the 40 and is out of bounds at the 35. And with that catch, Tony Hill has equaled the number of games in which he has caught a pass. The club record, 58, held by Drew Pearson, who is on the Cowboys' sidelines. Split backs, wide receivers to the right side. 22-0, Cincinnati leads. Play fake, White with time. Lobs it deep left side. Intercepted. Picked off inside the five-yard line. James Griffin, number 22. That's his sixth of the year. First and 10, Cincinnati with a 22-0 lead. Brooks, or Brew, Kennebrew. Look at him rumble. The Bengals are ripping the Cowboys' defense to shreds. It's now third and 11. Clink scale, left side, downs on the right side. They are showing blitz, but not up the middle. And there is no blitz. Pass incomplete. This is a 49-yard field goal attempt. Short. five to go first half first down 20 yard line second time the Cowboys have been this far up the middle door set he's got some room he doesn't get a block downfield from Newsom and if he'd gotten one he'd be in the end zone that's exactly right play action, play action. look for door set fire in the dead zone deep incomplete Gary Hogaboom the backup quarterback is the holder Except the end has hit nine of his last 11. Make it now 10 of his last 12. That's the end of the first half with our score. Cincinnati 22 and the Cowboys 3. Second down and nine. No pressure again at all. Finally. Touchdown. Steve Kreider, touchdown. That is his first of the year. James Jones at the 10. Reverse, Victor Scott. Fumble. Cincinnati, I believe, has recovered, yes.
worked about as well as everything else has for Coach Landry. Second and ten. Faking the blitz. Brooks with a lot of room. Same play they ran earlier. Same result. Cowboys faking the blitz. tire just blew out. Third and goal from the nine. Shotgun. Carl Poe has come into the game. White. Good throw. Touchdown. Boy, the thing that hits me is how well the offensive line has controlled that line of scrimmage today. Here comes a linebacker blitz, but Esaiason stands tall and throws to Collinsworth, and that'll be six more. He's calling home to Orlando. Did you love it in Florida, folks? Of course, that 44-0 defeat that Chicago laid on the Cowboys three weeks ago is the largest margin of defeat in Cowboy history. Back in 1970, the year in which Tom Landry's team was defeated by St. Louis 38-0, they also lost a game to Bud Grant's Vikings 54-13. And this game is approaching that kind of a score. It's right now 43-10. Alex It's soon to be... 50 to 10 because that is a touchdown. He had crossed the plane before the fumble. And listen to the ovation. And all Alexander does is go up inside, hits the linebacker, bounces off, and then the ball hits the plane and then finally breaks loose what appears to be a fumble. But once it crosses the plane, then that's a touchdown. Play action. Think so? No. <laughs> Yep. Touchdown. Cosby's there. Son of a gun. I should have gone on and said yes. I'd have been a hero. <laughs> well, you had an inkling. And Doug Cosby gets his fifth touchdown catch of the year. And a new quarterback coming in for the Bengals gets a standing ovation. He is the 15-year veteran, Kenny Anderson. down as one of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played one of the most accurate arms and an uncanny mind to pick up blitzes he was impossible for us to blitz first down and 10 Cincinnati <coughs> Chris Collinsworth Anderson finds him that is only the 15th completion this season for Kenny Anderson and listen to the roar from the crowd Blocked by Emerson Walls. Picked up by the Cowboys. And they're still running. This is Jesse Penn, and he'll score. And that is the first time since the 70s that the Cowboys have scored on a blocked punt return for a touchdown. The last time was against Philadelphia, and a guy named Jay Selby picked it up and ran it in after Charlie Waters had blocked it. Associates, 560 yards of total offense for the Cincinnati Bengals. That is the second highest in this franchise's history. As Cincinnati scores 22 points to open the game, scoreless in the second quarter, they come back with 21 more in the third quarter, and they wind up winning it 50-24. to 24. 